Today I'm gonna to be trying out the viral light up nails that I saw on TikTok. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about these. And this is from my girl, The Nail Sensei. I actually met her a couple years ago. She's really dope. But yes, these nails went viral. She got these little light things from Amazon and glued them on and with a little reindeer and oh my goodness, too cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's actually a video of her paying for something and the lights are going off and it was just so cool. So yeah, I got to try this. So I went through her comments because people were asking, where did you get these? And I ended up finding them on Amazon. These are some light up stickers, NFC, <laughs> you know, I told y'all how I'm not really all tech savvy and all, but I think I can make these work. But what I ended up having to do was download an app, an NFC app on my phone. And let me just show y'all how it works. It's probably better apps out there, but like I said, this one works, so I'm sticking with it. And it has so many ads. <laughs> but anyway, oh, no. You go to retags and this works better when I take off my little case here. But see, it lights up. So yeah, I'm going to do a nail design and hopefully it turns out right. I feel like it's probably a little late for Christmas, so I gotta think of something else. <laughs> Valentine's maybe? I need to go ahead and do some prep. I'll be doing my left hand today because the right hand, she tired, okay? She need a break. So we're just gonna do a little bit of prep. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to be using my peel off base coat like I've been using the last couple of videos. And uh, cause I would love to wear these again, especially if they light up. I don't wanna have to tear up the lights. So just to show y'all, these are the nails from last week and they popped off, thank God. <laughs> so yeah, you know, when I'm feeling like it, I can just pop these back on. So that is the technique I'm gonna use today. It's the Jello Jello peel off base coat. And like I said, I like to put down a regular base coat because it's just better for me. Just put a regular base on. Oh, it feels so weird. I haven't done my left hand in a long time. So for some of you don't know, I am left-handed. So I am using my non-dominant hand. I can get the job done, but I find that if I don't do it often enough, sometimes it's a little hard. <laughs> so we'll see since it's been about a month since I've done my left hand. I'll get this lint out of here. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. And then I'm gonna go in with the Jello Jello Peel Off Base Gel and just apply a layer of this over it. I have been using this stuff nonstop since I've gotten it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to order me another bottle because this is where it's at. You know, especially for those who like to change their nails a lot, like me. And cure. All right, we are ready to go. And this is totally optional, but I like to wipe off the tacky layer. I just don't like the stickiness of gel. So, I'm just gonna wipe this off. Also, since I'm putting on tips, I just feel like give the glue something, you know, more to hang on to than a tacky layer. So in the video, I saw that she used clear tips and I'm thinking that's probably better for the lights. I wanna make sure that you'll be able to see it in the end. So I don't know, maybe clear works better, but at any rate, that's what I'm gonna use today. So we got the tips all picked out, but before I glue these on, I need to go ahead and order my lunch. So give me a second. All right, so that's gonna take about 50 minutes, so. By the time I get here, hopefully I should have some nails on. So we're gonna go ahead and glue these on. And I just put a little bit in the well of the tip. And I like to hold my nails out straight just to make sure that I'm putting it on straight. All right, and then I just like to pinch the sides, making sure everything is nice and flush. 
I haven't decided how long I want it to go. Because I'm putting these nail stickers, they're kind of big. So I think I may have to go kind of long for these. And I also opt for these square tips because I wanted to have room to put the stickers on. I feel like the coffin ones would have been like not enough surface to put all the stickers on that I want. Ooh, I'd be nervous sometimes. Like, oh, did I glue that on straight? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we are all glued. Like I was saying, these stickers are, I don't know, they a bit big. And I don't think I can cut them. No, it doesn't look like I can, <laughs> I can cut them. So I gotta decide what I'm doing and how I'm gonna place these. Okay, I am gonna trim them down just a little bit. I don't want them this long. I'm gonna actually buff the tips. I'm gonna kind of roughen them up so the stickers will have something to hold on to. All right, so we got them all prepped and all that good stuff. So now taking these stickers, I'm guessing you just peel them off and put them on. They kind of stick to each other too. All right, so instead of the Christmas lights, the nail scents they did, I feel like I'm too late for Christmas. So I decided I'm gonna do like, it's gonna be probably, I guess, Valentine's Day inspired. You know, like the heart rate monitors or heartbeat cardiogram. I don't know the technical term, but you know the little lines that go like beep, beep, beep. That's what I'm gonna do. So I need to line up my lights to go with the lines that I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna put a heart on this one. Y'all see what I'm talking about when I do it. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. For this one, it's gonna, I want it at the points. So I need to put one right here. So the way these work, oh, some, some tweezers would be really nice. All right, so I need to peel the, ba the, <laughs> the bacon. <laughs> I need to peel the back end off of this. Okay, that's not helping me. Okay, I see where I need to peel. So, and I'm gonna put this on here just so I can place it right. Hmm. Yeah, I kinda want the peak to be right there. So, we're gonna put this one right here. Okay, these actually lay really flat. That is a good thing. So yeah, just making sure all sides are down. And then, what I say? I said like the point's gonna be up and then it's gonna come down. So I need it right there. The hardest thing so far is getting the backing off of these. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna do it this way. All right, this may work out. I saw that the Nail Sensei in her video, she uh, overlapped them and they still worked. So I'm hoping that this shouldn't be a problem. These lay really, really flat. Like you'll see them on the underside of my nail. I guess I probably could have used a natural color tip, but it's all right. All right, so one finger down. And then we're basically gonna follow the same. It's not gonna be any variations in my little heartbeat monitor thingy because we are alive so there's not going to be any straight lines mm. okay i don't want to put it too high up i want it to be pretty much on the tip because the surface is flatter okay it's probably easier if i don't keep touching it. We want it to <laughs> not lose its stickiness. Oh. Oh, how many more I got left? Oh, I only got, how many did I buy? <laughs> okay, so this pack only came with seven. So I have three left. We're probably gonna do only one on the middle finger because this is where the heart's gonna be. So the line's gonna connect it here and I'm gonna do like a little heart. I hope this pans out the way that I want. All right, and I guess it should meet somewhere right here. 
I know these little NFC lights have been out for a while. I wanted to try them out a couple of years back, but my phone didn't have the capability to like read them, so it didn't work. So it was kind of just a dud, but now we are in the future and my phone and apps work now. These are gonna be really cool though. I can feel it. All right, they're all on. So I did see in her video where she put the base coat on top of these. I'm not sure if you have to do that, but I'm gonna do it anyway because she did it. I guess it would make for a smoother application. I'm gonna be going in with patty gel and uh, we want this to be as smooth as possible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place this over top to make sure everything is smooth. But this is so cool though, the ability to have lights in your hands. You know, we haven't gotten our flying cars yet, but we got lights and nails. I'm here for it. All right, and we care. All right, so I'm going in with the pink nude and I'm just gonna put that on all of the nails. This is just gonna be the base. So I am hoping this covers it. I want it to be covered, but I don't want it to be thick. So just taking my brush and some alcohol, we're just gonna pat this in place. And I like to work around the cuticle first, just making sure that it's nice and snatched. Ugh, I just love this color, y'all. <laughs> I know I said that they're all my babies and parents aren't supposed to have favorites, but... <laughs> So anyway, just gonna go ahead and cover the nail. All right, I have it shaped. You really can't tell from this angle, but I can kind of see the stickers. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna put some polish or something on top, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and do the same thing to the rest of the nails. Yeah, I'm able to see these stickers. Especially when I hold my hand up to the light. So, I don't know. I think I may have to put a color on top. I really didn't want to, though. Is it bad if you see the stickers? But I'm going to go ahead and cure this. And my lunch is here, so I'll be back. All right, so all of the patty gel is laid. And as I was eating my lunch, it was so good, y'all. I had linguine with salmon. Oh, delicious. <laughs> but anyway, I was noticing that in some lights, you can't really see the uh, stickers underneath. Like if I hold it up, uh, let me see if we'll focus. You can kind of see them. I don't know. I guess I could put a gel polish over this to kind of camouflage it, but I think you'll probably still end up seeing it. I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and file shape and buff. And I have to be extra careful to not file too much because I don't want to file into the LED light. So just gotta be a little careful. All right, so the nails are all filed, shaped, and buffed. And I just wanna see if we can see the lights. So let me check it out. Take the bottom portion of my case off. Okay, it's <laughs> sparking a little bit. Okay, let me cut the studio lights off. Let's see if we can see. <laughs> this is so cool. Right, so it looks like we can do a little something here. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's cut the lights back on. And uh, yeah, you can still see them. So per the video, she used her phone to see where the lights were while she was drawing. So I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I don't know exactly where my reader is. Let's see, okay. I'm trying to get some big sparks, <laughs> sparks. <laughs> Cause like I have to move it. Okay, I think I got an idea. Come on, right here and right there. Okay, I'm gonna put my dot right there. The beauty with lights is that it doesn't have to be perfect. 
I'm gonna do my little, is it an EKG? I don't know what it's called y'all, but y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so that's my outline. And then I can just fix it. like that. Ooh. I think this is gonna be really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that because that turned out way too good for the first try. This is a little cumbersome, especially if you're trying to line up the lights. Okay, I'll just do it like this. It seems like it works a little better. I don't know, this one right here is not lighting up. I'm not exactly sure where the little NF, I keep wanting to say NFT, it's not, it's NFC. I don't know exactly where that is in my phone. All right, I got my guide points. All right, and I'm pretty much just gonna connect the dots. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to move my hand all which way <laughs> just so I could get these angles right because this is a design that requires good angles. It's not like a swirly. It's like you really got to get these lines at the correct angle so it can look right. <laughs> Ooh, but this is turning out really good. All right. So uh, I don't want to mess it up. But as you guys can see, it's going to go like do, 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 you know, you know. So I'm just going to go over this line to make sure it's exactly what I want. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. All right, so now I need to find where the light is for this one. Come on. Oh my goodness, this one's not gonna flash. Did this one really not work? All the other ones are flashing, except for my middle finger. That is disappointing. Oh, come on. <sighs> like, as y'all can see, I didn't even file into this at all. So there's no reason why this one shouldn't be working. Oh, I just saw it. It's very faint though, come on. See, you can barely see it. See, I'm not too familiar on how this NFC stuff works. Like, it's like it's just a pulse. So just keep it on. <laughs> just keep it on. Yeah, I think the one in my middle finger is probably just a dud. Because <laughs> it's not working all the way, all the time. So I'm just going to have to guess where this one is. I'm just holding my hand up to the light so I can see where the little sticker is inside but I am really trying to get better at like my hand-drawn art. I've been saying this for years, but it's true. Like I wanna one day be able to draw little portraits and stuff. <laughs> I wanna do that one day. The way my shaky hand and my line work is set up. Okay, I just want my heart to be a little wide and juicy. I think we're getting somewhere. I can't think of the Instagram page that I follow, but she paints like all these little princess, Disney princesses and movie characters and stuff on nails. It's like, oh, I wish. I just pretty much want to, I don't know. I am learning though, like the different pressure to put on these little liners. You know, to make a thin line, you just barely touch it. And to have a thick line, you press down harder. You know, I'm, I'm getting there, but this is hard. Ooh. All right, that is what I got for the hearts. Next, I need to do this one. All right, so this is what I got so far, you know. <laughs> I think it's getting there. So I'm gonna go in with a white gel liner to kind of make it pop a little more to try to give like that, I don't know, glowing effect. And I'm trying to make this line as thin as possible. Here we go. Okay. 
just very, a very light touch. It's like when you turn the radio down in the car so you can see better. <laughs> that is the type of concentration that your girl is using now, okay? And I purposely didn't drink my second cup of coffee today so I can do straight lines. <laughs> I tried. I'm gonna put top coat on this and yeah. Maybe the top coat will make me feel better. Uh, I mean, I hate it, but I tried. <laughs> Next time, I think I need to make the lines a little more blockier, but you know, you kind of get the point. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna turn, let's turn the studio lights off so we can see. Okay, this is not, <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so this is what I got. <laughs> it's not really giving what it's supposed to give, but I guess I can. Ain't nothing I can do about it now. <laughs> Let's see if you can see the big flashes when it's... Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> I think I may try these little lights again, but I don't know. Maybe I should do clear or something. It seemed like, like mine ain't really like flickering as hard as homegirls was in the video. Anyway. If y'all enjoy me doing crazy TikTok nails, this wasn't that crazy and it didn't really turn out that good, but y'all get the point. I do a much better job in my other TikTok videos. <laughs> so if you're interested in more TikTok videos, check those out and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.